Former longtime WNEP news anchor Marisa Burke has written a memoir that describes one of the darkest moments in her personal and professional life. Just checking scores is about the trauma she endured when her husband's secret sex life with underage boys was revealed. We shared her story on Eyewitness News at 6 this evening. Tonight, we hear more from Marisa and we find out why, at that time, she says she never saw it coming. To say the last few years of Marisa Burke's marriage were traumatic is an understatement. The former news anchor endured public humiliation thanks to a scandal brought on by her now ex-husband, Mark Candle. He was a master manipulator at everything. He pleaded guilty to online enticement in 2013 for sending thousands of inappropriate messages to teenagers. While he continues to serve a 14 and a half year sentence in federal prison, Marisa is finding a new path to peace through her book, just checking scores. I don't celebrate this book. I don't celebrate the story. I'm glad that it was published. The book recounts some painful memories of when her husband's inappropriate behavior with teenagers came to light. Looking back, she admits she made some mistakes, and there were many warning signs she should have seen, but she says she didn't. I didn't know because perhaps I didn't want to know. One of them, she openly admits in her book, was a lack of intimacy in their relationship. Working nights on the anchor desk also didn't help. She said eventually Mark became obsessed with going to the gym and was constantly checking his phone or laptop. She never questioned it. I did not want to be one of those wives mm -hmm. second guessing their, their partner, sec you know, being suspicious. I didn't want to be that person. Marisa says she thought her marriage was trustworthy and had no reason to doubt her husband. Even when the former educator continued to mentor and advise teens in their own home after his first run in with the law in 2008. When he knew that I was asleep, my girls were asleep, and he would leave the back door open and just say, hey, come in that way. And the excuse he had was, well, I, do, I don't want to disturb you. Yeah. You know, you're sleeping, you've got to get to work the next day. Despite his casual excuses and lack of fear, Marisa says her devotion to him was unwavering. Looking back at it now, yeah, <laughs> you know, it probably was a huge mistake on my part. It wasn't until 2012 when the dynamic changed. A second investigation at her home revealed a much darker issue. That was the wake up call Marisa said she needed. I, I had my epiphany, and I said, after all of this, now the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. And they were right all along. It was then she made a decision to stand on her own. In her lowest of lows, she says she kept her head high. I had to survive for the sake of my children. They were at a very impressionable age, you know, in, in school, in grade school, and I, had, I, I could not give up. Now, Marisa left WNEP in 2016 and founded Marisa Burke Communications, LLC. She has since moved to Colorado to be near family. And by the way, her book is now available for purchase if you're interested.